Hey everybody out there, it's Dave from Chef's Bonus. I apologize, it's been a little while since I've uh, done a video. I think it was freezing cold last time I shot, but looking to do some, uh, some new stuff. And today we're gonna do a little smoked salmon, hot smoked salmon. So I set the grill at 160. Uh, this is the, uh, the Claremont. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the salmon on some planks. I've got some, uh, some sugar maple and some cedar planks, like fresh planks that I peeled right off the side of my house this morning. I didn't really do that. These are actually planks that you're supposed to smoke on. I wouldn't just peel them off my house. Could be a paint, chemicals, I'm not gonna do that. I might do that, but I'm not gonna do that. So these are my, uh, my maple, and uh, I'm gonna, what I'm basically gonna do is take the, the maple and the cedar, put them together, lay this beautiful piece of salmon that I've got on top of that, I'm gonna hit this with some uh, citrus, and I've got this, uh, this Tex-Mex seasoning. So let that smoke at 160, hit this thing until it gets to about uh, 145, and then I'll pull it, and I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm just gonna let it sit. And uh, then I'll char off some bagels on the, uh, over the open flame, we'll make some delicious uh, breakfast. So here we go. I'm going to open up these doors and like I said, this is at 160. I think it's running about 165 right now. Pull these racks out. I'm going to lay these planks in. The cedar and then the maple. So it's all the way across. I want to keep the salmon up high so that it's furthest point away from the flame and I'm going to get a lot of smoky flavor. First thing I'll do is season up the salmon. I've got this Tex-Mex seasoning. I'm going to be pretty generous with it. I'm not shy when it comes to flavoring things, salt, pepper, here we go, put that on there. So I want to lay this flat um, and add this citrus. So I cut up some mandarins that I had and some lemons and I'm just going to alternate these on the top of the salmon, let that acid infuse into the um, into the salmon so let this go for it's gonna take a little while like I said it's got to get an internal temp of about 145 I'm gonna let this go for probably an hour and then I'll come back and I'll put some uh, chives I have some chives in my garden I'll cut those up put them on top get a little bit of that onion flavor infused into the salmon as well and see how it turns out we are back at the salmon here it is, let's see, I'm at 125. I was saying like 130, 135. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Let's check it out. Look at that salmon, it looks delicious. So I'm gonna get some butcher paper. I wanna wrap the salmon in it. And then I'm gonna char these bagels, so. It's like super delicate, you gotta be careful. I'll probably blow it. Fair warning. Mm, perfect. Now, moment of truth. I always say that, and then like I blow a big giant pancake or something, you know what I mean? I gotta stop saying moment of truth. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. One plank. Come on, baby. Two plank. Oh, sugar. You know what? I'm gonna flip this. There we go. It's all downhill from here. Literally. Put it on that edge. Okay. I've got these garlic chives from the garden. Put these on here. Wrap this up. Let this rest for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'll char off my bagels. So while that salmon rests, I'm going to char these. 
two bagels that I split. Everything bagels. Let them get a little bit of charred here. Put them up on the top rack. The heat right now is at 225. I actually put it at 200. Get a little bit of charred flavor and then let them toast on the top rack. And that'll be about 30 minutes. And by the time we come back with the salmon, should be good to go because that's cooling down in the fridge. All right, that should about do it. Yep. All right. So let these toast. Two thirty. Put that down to two hundred. Toast for like 10, 15 minutes, and we'll be good to go. All right, all right, all right. We are back. And looking at this, so these are. Nice and toasty. I'm going to get a little smear of uh, cream cheese on these guys. So, here, the salmon, cool down. Look at that. It's like bright color. The paper helped take a lot of that moisture out of there. So, I'm going to use a little bit of these. It's right out of my garden. Garlic chives, just beautiful pops of fresh flavor. Here's that Tex-Mex rub that we put on there early. You can see that. Nice dark flavor, color. So it has a really different texture than uh, cold smoked salmon. It's a little bit more like a like a fillet and you can also like if you wanted to take this and mash it up into your cream cheese and do like a salmon cream cheese but it is super delicious and there you have it Just hot smoked salmon on everything bagel with some garden garlic chives